Welcome to this session of Alias Teacher TV. In this session, I want to show you how to work with Alias SEP demodeling. And my example is a Fiat Cinquecento. I will show you how to build it up quickly. And also, I show you how to add some details like the door handle and the panel gap for the door cut. If you want to follow my video, it's very useful to download my pref set. Thing I want to model is wheel arches and sidewall. So let's go closer to the first one. And for wheel arch, I need a degree one circle. So that's also set in my new. Make it bigger and split it up with detach. Get the white cross, snap it. Shift gets a second cross, also snap it. Spacebar splits it up and delete the low part. Now I can move the CVs like that. With this degree one curve, I have to make an extrusion, which is a normal extrude. And this will create the alias septi. So like that. And I can see the septi now in box mode, where I can see one face, which is surrounded by four edges and also four vertices. If you switch to smooth mode, then you can see a surface. This is the alias septi limit surface, which is very special because it's a real surface where you can do everything you know about the classic alias modeling. So we come back to that later. Now we do an, another extrusion with hitting spacebar and extruding it. So I get the rest of the wheel arch like that. And of course, after that, I can pick the whole wheel arch, copy it and move it to the rear. I have the second one, right to mode. Box mode is pretty good for modeling because you can exactly see what the topology is about. And that's very helpful. So in the beginning, most of the things I do, I do in box mode. Now I do, I do a bridge command and connect in between, so one, two, three clicks on the left, and also same on the right, build it. And you can choose how many subdivisions you want to have in the middle, between those two wheel arches. I have three of them to be able to get a certain shape on the surface. Front, I need maybe an additional extrusion so I go there, but that's just a global extrude. So that's this one and just extrude a bit and maybe scale a bit to straighten the whole thing. All right. And the same thing in the back. I take those three, extrude a little bit and straighten. And maybe just just those a bit further. All right. For part of the sidewall, I can select all the ones here on top and extrude those globally. Yeah, we don't have to see those. Then straighten the scaling and a little bit of twisting. And we move it and also this one. So you can do some fine tuning already at that date. So now go to the front view. Move everything to the right. And so, all right, looking from the front, we can put now some shape on the whole thing.
Same thing in the back. It's not so much to do. So, all right. And what is very helpful is to crease the wheel arch, the edge loops here, the ones second row, this one and that one. And I set them to crease. This will be a sharp edge, so you can see it in the smooth mode. And the amazing thing is we can put a fillet on top of it, but we come back to that later on. But now I want to do the rest of the car, the center section, with all the windshield, front hood, roof, and so on, to create a closed shape. Uh, the trick is now to count exactly. So I do a degree one curve, which is also prepared in my ZAPD menu. And I click exactly the same number of clicks like we have on the sidewall. Leave out all the details in the front. Go up, then a straight one. So now for the windshield, we are free to click. Go up on the roof, flatter area, go around the corner here, and another flatter area. And I'll count again to have the same number. That's important to connect the corners later on. And that's it. And now we do an extrusion right from the middle, which is a global extrusion from there to the Y direction, box mode two, so I can see it. And it's a bit coming inward, so I scale it already a little bit. And the second piece of extrusion the same, so I hit spacebar, go out a bit and scale a bit again. So now we can see what happened in the top view. And so as we can see, I'm a bit too short here in the front. So I stretch everything. And let's say that's it. Another check is the roof, because the roof has to have also some nice shape. So especially the upper area is bended like that. And the height, maybe the pictures do not fit exactly, so we can improve that later on when we have the complete shape of the car. So now we come to the connection. The connection, of course, is the bridge again. So I go there, two, three, four, on this side, also on that side, and hit build. In this case, we don't need four of them, so one is enough. That's the minimum approach, of course, in this situation at the moment. And also in the back, one, two, three, four. Same thing on this side. And we can add more details pretty soon. So one row around this shape, of course. So I pick the edge loop and extrude again. Just upward and a bit inward. And that gives me the opportunity of showing you a new command, weld edges. So this will this allows me to put edges together. So I'll show you that. Put it there. Double click on it. Well to target is the possibility to put one point on top of the other and it's closed here. And the same in the back. Double click, rotate around. And here it's a bit more tricky because we need to move it before. In this case, it's a huge gap, so I don't go up to the gap. I 
add another edge here, which I do with insert edge and use, and use the perpendicular mode. So I go there, move it up, hit spacebar, that's it. And now I can weld again. Welding can be done also with edges. So I show you this, click the edge and click the other edge where you want to connect. And then everything is connected and fine tune a little bit. So I have to adjust the whole thing. So after these adjustments, I'm creating a line for the windows. A degree one curve, of course, and one, two, three, four, five. So I go all, all around the window cutout. So like that. And pick the curve and put them in 3D position. So I move it and go to the front view, rotate a little bit. I should bend it, but let's say that's okay. And then I do an extrusion, a normal one, in this direction. Like that, maybe. And probably a second extrusion right after that with this one. Just move it a bit up. And now in the right view, some fine tuning, which I do quickly now. So I go to box mode again, and let's see what we have in 3D. So pretty close everything. And so I'm ready for welding again. So I put things together using the weld targets command. We find out when we look at it that there is one, two, three, and it's only one here. So I need some additional subdivisions here in this area, which I do, of course, with insert edge. And then do bridging again. And last thing, we subdivide here and do some extrusion with the edge loop. So like that. Welding again. So let's adjust and for adjustment I need also another new command which is the new slide command so I can slide wherever I want my little vertices you also can move them normal which is the Move normal command of alias. So it's everything you're familiar with can be done with sub these two. So I see I need an additional edge loop here too. Take this one. Okay. And now I'm able to connect here, here. So that's a welding again. Okay. And this one looks like a triangle, and it is a triangle. So I'm welding. And then it's connected. Let's see, smooth mode. We have the general shape of our Cinquecento. What is missing is the sharp edge. So I need another crease. Pick an edge loop, do a crease. For that one 
Okay, so next is wheel arches. Go. Switch to box mode. Pick the edge loop. Extrude it globally. Y direction. And the cool thing is now to scale it to have our planner rear side. And I go to this view and bridge between those two. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I bridge with two pieces. And I weld to target this one. Now I need some creases, of course. So the edge loop here has to be creased. And maybe in the back, you don't have to crease maybe because that's dark enough. And let's do quickly the same thing again in the back. And a few more things to do. So one thing is getting rid of the triangle here, which is pretty easy. So we just insert edge, take that CV and slide it a bit. And it's a rectangle. Now we just hide everything else and do the symmetry. So picking, edit duplicate, switching back to box mode and switching on the CVs because now we have to glue it together and start with symmetry modeling. So that means I pick all the CVs in the middle, weld tolerance. Now I have one object and this object can be used for symmetry modeling. So this is this one. And now I can see a plane here in the middle, this one, the yellow one, which means that whenever I do something on the left, it happens also on the right side. So just checking, I pick some of the CVs, move them normally, and you see, it automatically does it on both sides. So this should conclude part one of the video. We come back with part two, of course, where showing you how to do the hybrid modeling approach with alias empty, which is the biggest benefit of it all.